Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make custom titles for your iMovie. Um, really simple to make it. You only need a few things. Open up your web browser, a new window on your web browser. Um, put in full screen how I like it. You want to go to this website, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R dot com. So, logo, maker, without the E in maker. Um, you have this brand new logo designing um, website, which it's awesome. Add text and colors, shapes. You can make paint buckets. It's kind of like paint on Windows, but it's more online and more advanced, and it's free. Um, so, for the, my title I'm going to be making, um, let's just come up with like a news, fake news title, because a lot of news titles are pretty dramatic, but they have the advanced stuff. So, let's add a text um, box. So this font right here is pretty boring, so let's just type in Channel 4 News. That's really boring. Let's move that up here. We don't like that. Let's add in a new text box. Let's just type in Channel. Make it more dramatic in here so you have different lines. Highlight it, and then if you click right up here, you have the font category and the font families. You have all these different font families font categories, 3D, decorative, fancy, cursive. Let's look what's in 3D. Uh, just one. I don't really like the looks of that. Let's try fun and funky. Now, this is my favorite. Not sure what you like, but I like this one. It's called bangers. You have channel here. Let's add in another one. Maybe a four. There you go. There's a four. Maybe type in a news. So there you have your Channel 4 News logo. But maybe I want to add a picture to go right here next to my logo. So let's type in news. We have this one to pick from. We can highlight that. I like that one, but let's see what else we have. Maybe search reporter. Oh, there's a camera, it looks like. Maybe, well, that's good for now. Let's just keep our news there. Let's downsize a little bit so it doesn't take up most of the um, most of the title. And let's get rid of this because when you download it, it'll interfere with your picture. Now I want you to go to the top right corner and click on the Save Logo button. Right click um, on it and hit Save, Save Image As. It'll save as unknown as a default. Let's keep it like that. Saves my desktop. We'll X out of that. Here's our logo right here, which is um, all nice transparent for us. So what we can go now is I want you to open a new search and type in green screen. It's not how you spell green screen. There you go, green screen, put in full screen. Now what I want you to do is go to images. And then select this one. Something that's not interfered with like that, because if you look closely on there, there's something there. Click that one. Right click. Save it to your desktop. Title it green screen. It's already pretty much green screen picture. X out of that. I want you to go down here to Keynote. Open it up. Select a new presentation. Select white. Add a new slide. Make sure it's a blank slide. Delete your first slide so it doesn't interfere with anything. Now open this green screen picture. Bring it to here and go up to your zoom, make it a 75 zoom, and expand this just to the corners of the, make sure you center it. There you go, nice and perfect. So now what you want to do, you can add in a nice title. So since we have our Channel 4 News logo, already here we can just drag it in and it fits perfectly on the green screen don't worry the green screen color will not show up on your logo I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that there's that channel 4 news you can make it downsize it you can make it bigger smaller it's up to you really um, so maybe you want a title here well that's easy just add a text box Want a background? Look boring, maybe. Maybe when you get rid of the green screen, it'll um, 
fade in with it, hit shape, maybe select a new color, I don't know. We'll just go with red. Select red. And this is my favorite. Just go right here up to style and hit that one. That looks pretty cool. Let's we'll have it come right here. Drag your text box. Where'd it go? There it is. Bring to front. Bring your text box into your shape. So we'll just keep that there for you. Text box into the shape. You can make the text box bigger if you want. I like it in the middle. Let's keep the text box in the middle. It goes right in here. Let's type in breaking news. So there you have your basic title. If you want to, you can add in animations. Um, here's how it... So I'll show you what we're going to do with the title. Make it animated. Let's keep the background in there first. So let's add in a build-in effect. Um, maybe a move-in. That looks pretty professional. Let's select that. And then you want to hit breaking news. We can add an effect there too. Let's try twist and scale. I kind of like this one. Here's how it looks. Pretty cool. And then if you want to build out, just hit right here. Build out. Add an effect. Maybe twist and scale out. Make it look like something happened. And it's moving out. And then you get to select your background. Um, build out effect. Hidden effect. Since we did move in, let's try move out. See? That looks good. So let's see what it looks like when we preview it. That looks cool. If you want to, you can build your order down here and make sure everything's all in, all in order for you. What I like to do is have it so you don't have to click it so you get the equal amount of time that the slide is on there. So we'll go back here and we'll type in, we'll click on the breaking news and we're going to go down here to start and we're going to do after build one. That's how I like to do it. So after the shape builds in, the title will come in, let's say two seconds after it comes in. Let's see how it looks. That looks pretty cool. You can adjust it if you want to. And then after build two, maybe we can do that. Delay it. Maybe if you want the title on there for three seconds, see how that looks. See, it looks good right there. And then three seconds will go by, and then they'll come out. And then here, after build three, after the text goes out, maybe 0.5 seconds, the shape will go out. So let's see how it looks in order here. Title comes in now on the shape, and we wait three seconds so the title will show up. Then the text will go out, and then the title will go out. And that's how it looks. That looks standard, and here's what it look. Here's what you're gonna do to get it into iMovie. You want to open up the QuickTime Player application. Mine's in my Launchpad under the other folder, so I'll just open that right now. So then, once you're in QuickTime Player, you want to hit File. That'll bring you down to a drop-down menu. Hit New Screen Recording, and that will open up to the screen recording menu for a new screen recording. Now you want to open up your Keynote application where you made your title, and then you have it all set up. So now what you want to do is move the screen recording menu on top of the Keynote, hit the red button on the menu, drag your screen recording um, diameter to where you want it on the title. Hit Start Recording, and then go over to the right menu where it says move in and hit preview. Once you click preview, here's what it will look like once you're done.
when you're done recording, what I want you to do is hit the stop menu surrounded by a circle here on this top um, startup menu. So just click it. And then hit this right here, this X. I want you to save it as um, your title. Um, title final. However, mine will be saved as how to because of the tutorial. So now that you have your title saved here on your desktop, open up your iMovie editing software right here. Once that opens, you want to select a new project. You want to select new project. And they have a lot of different titles on here. So select newscast since we're doing a news. Title it whatever you want. Just don't spend much time thinking of the title. It's not final. So now you want to go to your desktop and drag in your title video that you screen recorded from Keynote. And if you have video footage to put it over, um, you can do that. But I'm going to add in footage from my GoPro when I was at a trampoline park. So now what you want to do is delete these automatic titles. And then bring this green screen title over your video footage. Turn down the volume from your footage. And then you want to go here. Make sure it's not in crop to fit. Fill. Hit fit. There's that. Now what you're going to want to do is go here and select green slash blue screen. And then zoom in to your footage. So see right here how, I'll show you, how those lines are in there. That's from the original footage. So you want to scroll down until you can't see those anymore. So let's try that. Okay, so that should be good. So now let's just get rid of this transition here. And make sure it's all leveled out. So if we go into full screen, get rid of those transitions there too, it should look pretty cool. Let's see how it looks. So your title comes in right here. Sorry, this thing's in the way. Let me try to move it. Let's move it up here. I'm still so there, that looks pretty cool. You just want to make sure you trim it up here so when it flies out. So overall, it looks pretty good. Make sure you look at your title here. Look how that comes in. You have all the nice video footage. Look, you can't even see the green screen anywhere. And that is how you make a professional looking title for iMovie. You can use this for pretty much anything. Use Keynote. You can change the text or for anything. Look, you can just change the text, say, hi, or hello, YouTube. Maybe you can use it as an intro to your YouTube videos. I don't know how you want to use it. Go ahead, use a title, and make sure it works. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.